In this video, we will take a look at the React Spring library. React Spring is a Spring physics-based animation library for animating UI elements in your React project. It has different Spring modules, such as USpring for moving data from A to B, or Ustrail for multiple springs or the stagger animation, and Use transition for mounting and unmounting transitions or where the list uh, items have either added, removed or updated. And you can also use the chain method to queue or chain multiple animations together. We will use the hooks API in our examples, but if your project doesn't have support for hooks, you can easily import the components that are going to have the same API as hooks. So it's easy for you to implement either existing examples or the examples that we are going to go through. In the first example, we will use uSpring to transform the static UI into this. I have here a function component that's going to uh, take the width of the button and it's also going to toggle uh, the active state based on, on user interaction on click. Uh, it has a fill uh, div that's going to fill with different background color based on, on the active state as well as the text which is uh, either 0 or 100. And as you can see, everything is static, so we don't have any animations. So let me import uSpring from React Spring. We will have uh, different properties that we would like to animate. So props, it's equal to uSpring. And we can uh, specify the from. In our case, we would like to transition from with zero to with the width that it's uh, taking as measurement and pass this animated value to the fill container here. So instead of active, we'll do props that with. When we click, nothing is happening and no nothing is animated. And that's because uh, the div doesn't know exactly that we are animating things and React is not aware of it. So we will need to import the animated object from React Spring. Animated from React Spring, it's gonna extend your elements or React components. It's gonna animate outside of React for performance reasons. So you only need to handle the animated props and just pass them to, to this animated object. When this component is going to be mounted, the animation will start and is going to fill the entire space from zero to uh, the width of the button. You can avoid uh, passing the two. So instead of two, we can uh, uh, have the width directly here, but you can uh, also specify directly the width. So if it's active, we can do width, otherwise it's zero. And when you'll press on the button, uh, we are going to dynamically override the existing props and is going, the animation is going to start uh, automatically. Now that we've made our button uh, react to animations, we can interpolate the width animation here. So if we are going to say props.width.interpolate, this interpolate method will uh, get the animation value. So X in our case, and we can uh, render the X and also wrap this into an animated view. So it's going to react to changes. So now if if the animation it's it's running, we can uh, get the the value of the animation. But we would like to change it from zero to one hundred. So let's do a simple math here. So math floor x multiplied with one hundred divided by the width. So we will get the percentage of of the animation instead. React Spring it's really smart and it can interpolate different colors. So let's apply a, a special color based on, on, on the state of the animation. So background color is going to be if it's active, hot pink, otherwise we'll start from turquoise. And those probes let's apply to the uh, fill element. So instead of with, apply all the props here. 
and if we are going to start the animation now it's going to have a turquoise background in the first place and then a hot pink we can pass a, a different config to the animation in our case let's pass a duration of three seconds or three thousand milliseconds and to make it uh, more visible and easy to digest we will have this slider without any effects while moving through slides and we will use use transition to give some life to the slides uh, whenever we are gonna mount and unmount them and here is the final output of it i've created here an infinite uh, carousel or infinite slider and i'm using an index to determine the uh, actual slide to render and the list of sliders contain an id and a url and on every two seconds i'm incrementing that uh, that index and uh, i'm rendering the slide with the, with a background image what i would like to do is to apply a fade in out animation and also scale in out animation whenever the slide index has changed and we can use the use transition from react spring uh, to animate the mounting or unmounting of uh, components or elements so let's start importing the use transition and animate it from react spring and define here the transition so const transitions it's equal to a use transition use transition accept a couple of arguments here and the first one is the active slide so in our case it's slide slides and the index then we also need to define the unique keys for each slide and so react spring will know how to animate and when to animate and keep track of those and in our case it's a it's a method takes the item and pass the item id we have the config that we can pass we'll have a from it's also going to have an enter animation and also a leave animation and for for the four we would like to animate the opacity which is going to start from zero and we also like to apply a transform and scale is going to be 1.1 for the enter when the slide is going to be active we would like to go to opacity one and transform is going to be scale one so the actual scale of the image and when the slide is going to be unmounted uh, we'll have the leave event here and we would like to go back to opacity zero and transform this time we'd like to apply a scale of 0 0.9 with the result from the use transition we can iterate over the items so instead of returning directly the div of the current slide we can return a transitions map here we will uh, receive the item the props and the key and instead of passing the item here i'm passing the key and we would also like to apply the props or in our case the opacity and transform and to make the animation active wrap the div with with the animated object here and now whenever the slide will be unmounted or mounted we will have uh, either fade in with scale in animation or fade out with uh, scale out animation and the effect it's it's pretty pretty decent